Why all the way out here? I'm soaked. In the name of all clans, why did you choose to meet here? It's far too wet and I can barely hear my own thoughts. Stop complaining, Blue Star. I chose this place because it's damp and noisy. I don't want to catch any other cat eavesdropping. Blue Star, you can sit over by me. There's some dry grass just here. If this is dry, Lionheart, then I'm a mouse. <laughs> well, Yellowfang, why call us here? The prophecy hasn't been fulfilled. The three are together at last, but I have yet to recognize it. You're sure we have the right three this time? You know we have. Didn't we all have the same dream the night the third was born? You could be right, Spotted Leaf, but so much has gone wrong. Why should we trust anything? Of course, Spotted Leaf is right. But if Jay Feather and Lion Blaze don't recognize the final, more trouble could come. I want to send them a sign to be safe. I was thinking. What? <sighs> Yellow Fang, don't you think it's dangerous? To be meddling with something that isn't ours to begin with? Dangerous? How much good do you think can come out of having cats in the clans more powerful than not only their stars, but those of generations past? What will become of ThunderClan? No, all the cats of the lake of- Have faith, Blue Star. These cats are good, and have proven their loyalty many times over. We thought that about Hollyleaf. We won't be wrong again. We have to trust the prophecy no matter where it came from. We have to trust our clanmates beside the lake. Uh, you were talking about sending a sign, Yellowfang? Yes, but a leaf. As I was saying, we should think seriously about the world. Did you not listen to anything I just said? A sign, eh? Shh. Do you hear that? Oh, it can't be. A feather tail. What are you doing here? Spying on us? Blue Star, we're all clanmates now. I guessed why you were meeting, and... Why did you know we were meeting in the first place? Um, I, uh, was to leave. I may have told her that we were heading into some river clan-like territory later. <laughs> You can sit over here, Feathertail. Thank you, Spudleaf. This is ThunderClan's business, Feathertail. You haven't a say in anything that happens. That's furthest from the truth. Not only are Jay Feather and Lion Blaze Crow Feather's sons, but the prophecy affects every one of our clanmates around the lake. I grieve for Hollyleaf, as much as if she was my own kid. I have to watch over them. Feathertail is right. Let her stay. <sighs> I understand Feathertail, but even if you think of them as your own kids, all you can do is warn them and guide them. In the end, they will go their own way. All sons and daughters do that, Lionheart. So, what should we do now? Yellowfang was talking about sending a sign. Yes, as I've been trying to say. I still think we shouldn't get involved. The third cat is already strong and clever. Sure, we may not know what her special talent may be, but if she's the right one, won't she figure it out on her own? But we can't just sit by and do nothing. I think so too. If we had meddled more, Hollyleaf might not have been lost. Hollyleaf... She made her own choices. These cats need to live their own lives. We can't just do it for them. No, but we can guide them. I agree with Yellowfang. Sending a sign sounds like a good idea. Ugh. 
I can see you've all made up your minds. Very well. Do what you wish. I will send a nomen. A nomen of the stars. Which cat will you send it to? Lion Blaze or Jay Feather? <laughs> Neither. I will send it to the final cat. What if we slept over here? No, no, that's too far over. Hmm. Oh! What about over here? There's enough room for both of us. But doesn't it smell weird to you? What if there's a reason no one is sleeping over here? You have a point. Okay then. We'll just have to push Bumblepaw out of his den and take his spot. <laughs> but where would Bumblepaw sleep? That's his oh, problem. what now? We are going to have so much fun as apprentices. You said it. You two shouldn't be in there. You aren't apprentices yet. Chief Feather! Me and Dovekit were scoping out where we want our nests to be. Yeah, and we'll be apprentices any day now, so we deserve to be in here. We're gonna sleep next to each other, train next to each other, and do everything together through our apprenticeship. <sighs> yeah, whatever. But if you insist on being apprentices so quick, why don't you go pick fleas off the elders with me? We'd love to, but... We're not done figuring out our nests yet. Yeah, so... You go on over and we'll catch up. Yeah. Yeah. Ivy Kit, Dove Kit, get back over here this instant. Coming. Coming. Jay Feather. Jay Feather. Jay Feather. You can be more quiet. I'm blind. Not deaf, you know. Jay Feather, Poppy Frost is carrying my kits. She needs to be moved to the nursery immediately. Barry knows. Please forgive him, Jay Feather. He's been antsy ever since I told him. I understand. Let me. Not until she's out of harm's way. I don't want anything bad happening to her or the kits. You better make sure she won't be in any pain or let anything bad happen. Of course I will, but in my opinion, it's a little early to me moving her into the nursery. Come on, Poppy Frost. Go ahead to the nursery, and I'll give you something to eat. Very nose! I'm really sorry, Jay Feather. I'll come back later. <sighs> Why come to me if he wasn't even going to take my advice? Jay Feather! Flying Blaze, do you know if Freightheart found any comfrey? She said she was going to look for some for me. Sorry, we weren't in the same patrols this morning. It's fine. I'll just find her later. Are you okay? You seem stressed lately. I'm fine. I've just been under a lot of pressure ever since Sleepful stepped down from being a medicine cat. I'm not used to working by myself. I just have to get used to it is all. Do you ever wonder about the prophecy? There will be three, kin of your kin. Wonder? There's only two of us now. Dovekit and Ivykit are also Firestar's kin. Remember, it's possible the prophecy was talking about one of them as well. Why don't you ask Star Clan about it the next time you go to Moonpool? We don't even know what the prophecy is from Star Clan, remember? <laughs> if you keep that up, I won't even be able to tell you apart from a stick in the mud. Would it kill you to be a little optimistic? <laughs> Leave before I tear off one of your whiskers. I'll go check on Brightheart for you. <laughs> It'll be the most useful you've been all day. Hold still. Mom, um, I can do it myself. I'll believe that when I see it. <laughs> Mom's gonna have to clean you even when you're in the apprentice den. Shut up. I, I just haven't gone into my fur yet. You'll learn to manage it. Right now, you look like you've been pulled through thorns backwards. It looks fine. There are already tons of cats gathering. Do you think the whole clan will come see us become apprentices? <laughs> I'm sure everyone will be there. They better. They'll be watching the two best warriors to ever grace Center Clan become apprentices. Devkin, the cat who can take on the whole Shadow Clan with 
one paw behind her back, and claw sheath. An ivy kid, fastest and quietest hunter in all the clans. Not one mouse will ever escape her claws. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Stop! You two just got clean and now look at you. Come here, Dove Kit. Um. <laughs> I wonder who our mentors will be. <laughs> I can't wait! Come on, Ivy Kit! It's not time yet. We have to wait until Firestar calls the clan together. I can't wait! It won't be long, I promise. You'll come see us made apprentices, right? Of course! We wouldn't miss it for anything. Of course you wouldn't. It's almost time! Oh my stars, this is going to be so exciting. We're gonna hunt and fight and run. It's gonna be so cool! And hey! Are you done now? I'll never be done cleaning you. Don't worry, Mom. I'll take over for you when we're out of the nursery. Let all cats old enough to catch their own prey join here beneath the high ledge for a clan meeting. Not yet. And you will walk out there like a sensible apprentice, not a little kid that doesn't know how to behave. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh no! You can't be sick! This is our moment! Maybe you can go out for the both of us. You'll both be fine. Go out there and make me proud of you. Your father should be coming at any moment. Come on, the clan's waiting for you two. This is it! This is it! I'm going to trip or forget something or mess up somehow! You'll be fine. We'll be fine. I've called you together for one of the most important moments in the life of a clan. Dovekit and Ivykit have reached their sixth moon, and it is time for them to become apprentices. Come forward, you two. Dovekit, from this day until you receive your warrior name, you will be called Dovepaw. Starclan, I ask you to guide this new apprentice. Set her paws on the path she must follow to become a warrior. Lion Blaze, you will be mentored to Dovepaw. You are a loyal warrior, and your battle skills are outstanding. I know you will pass these qualities on to Dovepaw. I'll work really hard. <laughs> so will I. We'll make a great team. Ivy Kit, from this day until you receive your warrior name, you will be called Ivy Paw. May Star Clan watch over you and guide you in your journey to become a warrior. Cinderheart, you have shown courage and endurance in your apprenticeship, and I trust now you will teach Ivy Paw to follow in your path. You already are. We'll be unstoppable. I wish both of you the best. This meeting is over. Congratulations. Good job, you two. Thanks. Thanks. Hi, Blaze. What do we do now? Hmm. Nothing exciting, I'm afraid. The clan needs water. We'll have to collect some water from the lake to bring back to camp. That sounds super! We'll get to see the territory and the lake. Do you think Ivy Paw and Cinderheart can come with us? Can we? <laughs> of course. We'll need to watch out for River Clan, though. They've been wanting to start some fights lately. I thought River Clan was on the other side of the lake. Not since this drought has been happening. Apparently, the lake belongs to them. Isn't that right, Cinderheart? Mm hmm. Come on, we'll explain on the way. What happened at the gathering? At the last gathering, tensions were high. It's the middle of Greenleaf, so everyone's already restless from the heat. But lately, it hasn't rained a bit. Not even the medicine cats know why there's been a drought. Jay Feather says Star Clan hasn't told him anything. Anyway. The gathering was pretty uneventful for most of the clans, but when it was time for River Clan to announce what they had been up to, all the tension was released at once. Hmm. 
If you're quite finished, Firestar, RiverClan still has a report to make. Of course. Go ahead, Leopardstar. Huh. Prey Stealers! What? Prey Stealers? Yeah, Leopardstar accused every one of the clans of stealing food from RiverClan. <sighs> it's no secret that the drought is affecting RiverClan more than other clans. Since their main source of food is fish, and the lake has been shrinking every day, no wonder she's on edge. All of River Clan look to be nothing more than fur and bones right now. They're starving. Of course, so are we. I'm sure you have a good reason for accusing us all like that. Would you like to explain? You have all been taking fish from the lake, and those fish belong to River Clan. No, they don't. The lake borders all our territories. We're just as entitled to the fish as you are. Especially now, we are starving because of the drought. Prey is scarce all around the lake. Fish is the only thing keeping us from starving. But it's worse for us. River Clan doesn't eat any other kind of prey. So, all the fish should belong to us. That's mouse brain. You can't just claim a prey for your clan. Try telling that to River Clan. You know what? River Clan might be onto something, though. From this day forth, Thunder Clan claims all the squirrels by the lake. Shadow Clan has to give all their squirrels to us every sundown, or we'll use force to get them ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> the fish in the lake belong to River Clan. Any cat who tries to take them will feel our claws. From now on, I will instruct our border patrols to include the area around the water on every side. Can she do that? Why doesn't Firestar fight them? Firestar doesn't like to cause trouble. He always tries to look for a solution that doesn't involve fighting. <laughs> and that's part of what makes him such a great leader. Just stick close to us down at the lake. If we're greeted by a patrol of River Clan cats, don't mess with them. <laughs> okay. Go get some moss to carry the water in. The trees clear out just ahead. This? Is the lake everyone fusses over? It's barely bigger than a puddle. Well, it usually comes up to about where we are now, where the pebbles meet the mud. It's only because of the drought that it's shrunk so much. Hey, on the bright side, there hasn't been many two lakes this green leaf. What if the lake shrinks away altogether? That's a load of mouse droppings. It's bound to rain soon. Well then, now that we're here, you might as well learn something about the territories. This is ThunderClan's territory, in case you didn't know. <laughs> Over there, that's WindClan territory. There aren't many trees for hunting in. WindClan cats like open space to stretch their claws. They love rabbits, and rabbits love the moors. Their territory is perfect for them. ShadowClan cats like pine trees, so they chose the territory over on the other side of us. I'm glad I'm not a Shadow Clan cat. Ivy Pot, you should be picking up the scents of those cats over there. It's all stuff we need to know. What? What in Star Clan is happening over there? Trouble? Yeah, well, Barry for brains and spider leg got stuck in the mud, and I need a stick or something to get him out. Cinderheart, you go and help Barry Nose and Spider Leg. Thornclaw and I will f go find something. Yeah, come on, you two. Bring your moss and watch where you're putting those paws. Well, there's one over there. Here, help me pull it out from under the roots.
Hey, that's mine! Jay Feather, put it back. Ah, that's mouse brained. I need to help our clanmates. It's only a stick. It's not just a stick. It's it's important. If you don't bring it back in one piece, I'll I'll. Don't worry, Jay Feather. Thornclaw will bring back the stick after we're done using it. Keep your fur on. I can't believe someone can get so worked up over a stupid stick. Think the heat's finally gotten to Jay Feather? It is only a stick. It's probably only medicine cat stuff. Maybe the stick has magic powers to make herbs work faster. I guess it's a better story than having a medicine cat with bees in his brains. You two stay here. Don't go any closer to the lake or deeper mud. Okay, you two! Help us on the way! Good! My fur is going to be ruined for moons because of this! Yeah, well, you're overreacting, like always. Easy for you to say. The mud hasn't even brushed your belly, and you have short fur on top of it. I have flex all over me because you keep squirming. I'm glad they won't be sharing our den. He'll sneak a mud and dead fish for a moon. Yeah, everyone's gonna make them sleep five fox links from any den. Okay, okay, calm down, Berry Nose. Here, grab hold of this to give you some paw hold. Good! Hey, Lion Blaze, can you help me keep hold on this side? Of course. Ugh, it's worse than I thought. I'm going to be permanently brown from the belly down for the rest of my life. Oh, shut up. Then go back to camp and get clean. Okay, Spiderleg, your turn. Oh, thank you. I'll, I'll be more careful next time. You should ask Jayfeather for some lavender when you get back to mask some of the smell. Should make it more bearable for the rest of us den mates. Oh, good idea. I'll, I'll be sure to grab some for Berry Nose as well. Ugh. I better go put this stick back, or Jay Feather's gonna be madder than a fox in a fit. Who was that? Rainstorm? What does he want? Prey Stealer! Leave that alone! That fish is ours! He's going to our Ivy Paw! Mouse Dung! <laughs>